As a finale for this chapter, once again I'm going to look at views. In this case, only metadata views. There are some underlying performance views, but they're not strictly necessary to examine in this particular course. All I'm going to do is look at these things. First of all, two metadata views which are useful for indexes are user indexes and user end columns. User indexes simply gives you the details of the indexes. In other words, the index name, the table it's allocated to, and various other bits and pieces, including statistics. User end columns, on the other hand, gives you the details in each index, namely the columns and the orders in which those columns are placed into the indexes when there are more than one column in an index. To look at IOTs, you need to look at user tables, user tab columns, and you can use user objects as well. To examine clusters, you need to look at user clusters. For user clusters, you need to look at user clusters and user CLU columns. Once again, user clusters view contains general information about all clusters and user CLU columns contains details as in the columns in the clusters. And if I didn't already mention it, user tables contains table information and tab columns contains information about each individual column in the table. Materialized views, you can use user M views, aggregates, joins, refresh times, and various others. Quite obviously, M views is the materialized view itself. Aggregates is aggregate information. Joins is the join stuff in the materialized view. And refresh times is how and when a materialized view is refreshed. Partitioning, you can use user part tables and user part indexes, quite obviously as tables which are partitioned and indexes created on those partitions. That's all we need to know about metadata views for Oracle specialized objects.